Dear friends all over the world, wherever you are, we are welcoming you to another live address on this very day. Today is the 19th day of July in the year of our most high Elohim 2019. With the time now standing at, should I say, precisely 7 p.m. in the Holy Land of Biafra, I welcome each and every one of you, regardless of where you are domiciled around the world. If this is your first time of joining Radio Biafra, I welcome you especially, and as I do so, I will indulge you to also welcome those of your friends, your relatives, and your family who you think might be able to benefit from this very redeeming gospel this very evening. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to some of you depending on where you are residing, depending on where you are domiciled across the entire 24 time zones of this very world, where I believe very confidently that Radio Biafra is being received at this precise moment. Without further hesitation, we must proceed. My name is Namde Kanu. I am the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra and by the grace of the Most High Elohim, the servant of the wonderful people of Biafra. Our job is to restore Biafra. Our mission is to enthrone justice and fairness. And we are not going to fail not because we possess any extraordinary powers that are not gifted to other men, but because we are under divine instruction. We are under celestial supervision. And that is why Biafra will be restored in our time and in this very moment. Therefore, we must pray. We must dedicate our proceedings this very evening to the Most High Chukotika Biyama Purimine because without Chukotika Biyama we are nothing. We couldn't be where we are today and there is no way we would have withstood and overcome all the shenanigans of the enemies, even those within. We must pray. Wherever you are, you will lower your heads because we worship the one through living Elohim, the most high Chukwakeka Biyama, our Lord and our God and our Redeemer. We do not worship idol. We do not worship anything made by man or born by flesh. We must worship the most high in truth and in spirit. We must proceed, and this evening I will pray in English. Because we know that our audience are gathering all over the world. Some people plead and beg that they wish to partake in the blessing emanating from Radio Biafra. Anytime we are privileged to address the wonderful people of Biafra, it is a unique honor to welcome each and every one of you. We are on satellite, we are online, we are on FM, and we are on Facebook, precisely. If you look for us, you will find us. This is where we propagate this very gospel. We are the truth is not only spoken, but preached on a daily basis. That is why Elohim is with us, and that is why our enemies are floundering from place to place. They cannot replicate what we are doing because sometimes we don't even know what we are doing. We are being directed all the way from heaven and that is why we are unstoppable. That is why Ruga will not take hold nor function. That is why the disintegration of the damnable zoological republic is inescapable. They cannot escape it. Therefore we pray God of ages, 
the ancient of days, praised be your holy name forever. In your sight, from generation to generation, from time immemorial, nations rise and fall. We are passing through a time of peril. Now our land is troubled. Enemies from far barren and arid lands of the north have descended upon your children like a dark cloud from the deepest recesses of hell. Be near also, Lord, to judge and to save. Strengthen our resolve. Strengthen IPOB to give witness to these truths by the way that we live. May we, your servants in Biafra, be led by your wisdom. May we search your will and see it clearly. If we have turned from your way, which we know we have, please have mercy upon us and help us to reverse our path and to repent. Give the lead of all oppressed ethnic nationalities in Nigeria the wisdom to recognize the evil that is confronting us all. Give them the grace to know what is right and the courage to do that that can save all of us. You have said that blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Biafra is your nation, O oh Lord. You created it and not man. You are our God, for we do not worship man nor idol. This proclamation we make this very day and always, as our forefathers did before us, as they did before the British came. Give us your light and your truth to guide us through your mercy as our Lord and as our Savior. Because you remain forever, you do not change. So shall your creation be Afra and Dior. May this be a new era for Biafra and all those who are struggling under the yoke of oppression in Nigeria. As we humble ourselves and acknowledge you as the author and finisher of our faith, this we pray in your holy name. To forevermore. He said. He said, he said, and at Gali, where we must proceed, we are live and we are direct. And the whole world, the entirety of humanity is listening. We have been working tirelessly hard to ensure that we mobilize our people against the hordes of wickedness from the north. They will never prevail. The gates of hell can never ever prevail over the children of light. For we are descended from heaven itself, and there is nothing any mortal man can do to extinguish this very light of hope. We have come that the blind may see. We have come that even those who cannot speak may rise up and find a voice. We have come to break the chains of bondage. That is what we represent. That is what we have been mandated to do. And that is a mission we are going to accomplish in our time. This evening I bring to you a very special program Dedicated, I will say, to those of you in position of common sense, because common sense in the damnable zoological republic is in very short supply. Therefore, we must do the needful. Therefore, we must do that which is right, which is to preach this very gospel without compromise or fear, without any favors whatsoever. That Chukukika Biyama may love us. <laughs> 